Hello ShoppersNet viewers, welcome. In this video, we'll be fixing a rechargeable air compressor. In this case, we'll be showing you the Slime 230 PSI air compressor that we've had for years. We've used it to put air not only in our tires, but also our toys. And now we notice that the battery check light does not hold a charge. It says low even if we try charging it out with the AC adapter and uh, here's a top look nothing is damaged it's still in near mint condition and it's very wasteful for us to just throw this out so we're going to look at getting this rechargeable air compressor fixed and the techniques we use here are probably very similar to any of the other rechargeable battery powered air compressors and we're going to actually take this air compressor apart look at what battery is required and purchase the battery and replace it and hopefully the air compressor will be back to new state this will not only help us save money but keep things out of the landfill we opened the air compressor and identified the battery that we need to replace it's a 12 volt 9 amp hour tr9-12 battery that's available from tempest batteries you need to do the same for your air compressor here we have the battery in hand this is the replacement battery uh, valve regulated, rechargeable, maintenance free, and we will need to swap this battery out for the one that already exists inside. If you have a different brand or model uh, rechargeable air compressor, you will need to find out the correct battery replacement before starting work. Now keep in mind, since we're dealing with electrical items, you do so at your own risk. Please take all necessary precautions. Here we show the slime air compressor opened up we removed the old battery it's two wires the red and the black terminals we just removed that and unhooked it we also have our tempest battery in hand and we need to remove the protective cover on the terminals and it's simply putting the battery inside you see there are a lot of components in the air compressor you do not need to touch those the procedure to swapping a battery is not very difficult at all. We see we have a black wire and a red wire. And we just need to make sure the red goes in the red terminal and the black goes in the black terminal. We have our battery over here. And just need to match up the colors. And we're good to go. So we need to remember to put the battery in the proper position that you originally had in the original battery so you can actually fit it in the rechargeable air compressor and when you do this it should look like this we're about done let's make sure the wires are tight and they're both tight and now let's look at the rest of the air compressor let's make sure there's nothing that we've loosened make sure we didn't drop any screws and there's no damage to the rest of the air compressor and if everything looks like it's in good shape then we're ready to put the other side of the case on and tighten up the screws okay so when we try to close this we run into a problem we need to reroute the red wire here is the rerouted version of it without rerouting the red wire we will not be able to close the other side of the case and if we look carefully the wire is actually coming from here routing underneath and coming up over here to the red terminal black terminal uh, was not an issue it's good to remember how the wires look like before you start the job. Probably good to take a picture before beginning and it'll help with the installation at the end. Now we put the cover back on and we see those are the holes where we need to put screws back in. And we need to make sure all the screws are in to make sure this thing is tight. After we put the screws in, we're going to charge up the air compressor with the included power adapter. Now we've given it time to charge up. So we're ready to flip the switch and see if it's going to say high rather than keep reporting a low on the battery check. And everything looks just like new again. Now it's the moment of truth. Let me rotate this back toward the camera and see if the battery check will say high. And it does with the new battery. Let's see if we hear the familiar air compressor sound once I flip it on. And it works. This is awesome. We've saved some money. Please note that this approach only works if your 
air compressor is powered by a lead acid battery. It will not work if you have a lithium ion battery in your air compressor. We like the fact that this air compressor is portable and doesn't have a cord. You don't have to plug into your 12 volt power adapter in your car nor run the risk of drawing high current. That might increase the risk of blowing a fuse in your car. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, please tap the thumbs up. We'll be having more great videos to come. Please subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.